In this video, I'm going to show you how to play CurseForge mod packs with your friends. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome. Then all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in Essential Mod. And this is a Minecraft mod that will allow us to create a free server for all of our friends to actually play. So from here, please go ahead and select on the official Essential.gg website just like so. It is then going to bring you to a page that looks like this and all you want to do is you want to press on this blue button over here that does say download. Now even though this is a great option, unfortunately there are still a few limitations. For starters, this is not a 24-7 game, it is only going to work if you're also playing on the mod pack and it can be a little bit complicating when setting it up with you and all of your friends. But guys, if you want a simple plug and play solution then consider using our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're easily able to play any mod pack from curseforge with your friends with the click of a single button i am not kidding guys you just need to press one button and then it is automatically going to add the mod pack of your choice to your minecraft server these servers are 24 7 and you could also include dozens of other mods plugins etc and there's also dozens of video guides showing you how to do every single process there's also 24 7 live customer support that is ready to help you out with any of your questions so guys if you want a premium and high quality Quality solution then consider using simple game hosting because they allow you to upload any mod pack from curseforge over on their server and then from there you guys are able to go ahead and play with you and all of your friends if this is something you're interested in feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment all right guys so that is enough yapping out of me so the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the essential installer file now depending on your web browser you may be able to find it on the top right just like so yep as you're able to tell i was able to find it but if you don't see it over here then what you could always do is you can go to the bottom menu and open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads but for clarity purposes i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it to my desktop just like so and i recommend that you guys do the same thing all right so now that you have the essential installer the next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you do have curseforge already installed on your device so i'm assuming that most of you guys have already downloaded curseforge but if you haven't then all you need to do is just open up another tab just like so then all you need to do is just look up curseforge download then go ahead and press on the curseforge.com right over here then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on download standalone and then from there it is going to allow you to install curseforge it's incredibly easy and best of all curseforge is completely free so what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and actually open up curseforge so let's go ahead and do that really quickly so once we're here in curseforge all you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the mod that you are actually trying to play with your friends on so for this video let's go ahead and work with the pixel mod pack so what you would need to do is you need to go ahead and type in the name of the mod pack right over here and then you need to go ahead and locate it so yep the pixel mod pack is right over here here and basically you want to make sure that you do have it installed if you haven't already downloaded it already and just for clarification purposes you and all of your friends who are going to play together need to have both of the mod pack installed on their device using curseforge and also the essential mod so guys please make sure to send this video to your friends so that they know exactly what to do and how to do it so please go ahead and install the mod pack of your choice all right so once you went ahead and installed your mod pack we are not done yet we need to do a couple more things so what you want to do is you want to go to the left menu just like so then scroll down until you see settings then make sure that curseforge is selected and then where it says when i close curseforge please make sure that exit curseforge is selected then once you're done with that go ahead and just close out of curseforge right over here and now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be double clicking on the essential installer just like so so please go ahead and do that all right once you're here please go ahead and press on get started then go ahead and select on curseforge from here please go ahead and locate the pixel mod pack or whatever mod pack you're trying to play on so as you better tell i did do this process numerous times in the past so again we are working with the pixel mod pack and it is towards the top so you just want to go ahead and select on it just like so and it is automatically going to set you a minecraft version and a mod loader as well so just keep it the way it is so for pixel it is 1.16.5 and for the mod loader it is forge but every single mod pack is slightly different so if your minecraft version is not exactly the same as mine or if your mod loader is not the same as mine do not worry guys do not stress just leave it the way it is and you just want to go ahead and press on update and install essential now just wait for it to install right over here all right once you're done with that all you want to do is you want to go ahead and close out of the essential mod really quickly and now you want to go ahead and just open up curseforge one more time then once you're over here please go ahead and locate your mod pack and this time go ahead and press on play all right once you're done with that it is now going to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher and if you never used curseforge before then it may ask you to sign into your microsoft account so please go ahead and do that but in the version selector just make sure that the mod pack of your choice is actually selected then please go ahead and press on play 
All right, guys, and then once you're done with that, you should now be loaded into the mod pack of your choice. So you'll notice that the menu is going to look a little bit different. We're going to get these new buttons over here that say essential, and we're going to be using these in order to actually set up a game for our friends to actually go ahead and play with us. So we have two different options. We could either host a world or we can go ahead and join another person's world. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to host a world. So first of all, you need to go ahead and add your friends on the essential mod. And to do that, you just want to go ahead and press over here where it says social. Then you want to go ahead and press on this button over here that says add friend and then type in the username, the Minecraft username of your friend, whoever you're trying to play the mod pack with. And then all they need to do is they need to go ahead and accept your friend request over here. And then once they accepted your friend request, they will now be in your friends list. And once they're in your friend list, you just want to go ahead and press on host world. Then you guys could select on a pre-existing world or create a new fresh world for you and your friends to play together. Then you just want to go ahead and press on next. You guys can go ahead and select on the basic world settings. Then from here, your friends will actually appear and you just want to go ahead and press on this button that does say invite right over here. And then you just want to go ahead and press on host world. All right, guys. And then once you're here in your Minecraft world, you should be good to go. And your friend should be able to go ahead and join you. See you later, French fries.